In 1897, whilst dissecting a mosquito's stomach in an experiment in Begumpet, India, Dr. Ronald Ross made a startling discovery. In the mosquito's gut, he found 12 delicate circular cells, which he realized were parasites previously observed in the blood of malaria patients. This discovery confirmed the suspected, but till then unproven link between malaria and mosquitoes, which transmit the disease through their bite. For centuries prior to this discovery, it was believed that malaria was caused by bad air, hence mal aria from the Italian. The first major challenge to this theory came in 1880, when Alphonse Laveron, a French army surgeon stationed in Algeria, noticed parasites in the blood of a patient suffering from malaria. After failing to find the parasite in the air, water and soil, Laveron began to suspect the parasite could be spread by mosquitoes. However, it was Ronald Ross who provided the definitive scientific evidence to support this theory. After two years of meticulous research examining thousands of mosquitoes fed with malarial blood under a microscope, he finally came across the malaria parasites. Born in India where his father was based as a soldier, Ross studied medicine in London before entering the Indian Medical Service. He had seen the devastation caused by malaria firsthand and was determined to study the disease. After his discovery, Ross went on to lead malaria prevention work around the world, including initiating programs in West Africa, the Suez Canal Zone, Greece and Mauritius, where he developed a groundbreaking mathematical model to study the distribution and causes of the disease. Ross was knighted in 1911, and the Ross Institute and Hospital for Tropical Disease was founded in his honour. The institute was later absorbed by the London School of Tropical Medicine, which continues to work on improving healthcare worldwide. In 1902, Ross became the first Briton to win the Nobel Prize for Medicine.